This is about how to work with timelines as well as progress lines and the status of a project. You really want to end up with what you're looking at right here with the progress line, current date, tracked tasks, non critical, obviously due to being finished, critical, and you also want to be able to measure these things against a status line. So let's take everything off. I'm going to take the progress line off and we'll start from scratch. Progress line is off. Let's move everything has been undone so far. Okay, so that's where we start. So the first thing we need to do, as one can see, of course, there's one non critical task in this entire project. The first thing we need to do is to activate a status day. That is handled through project information, and I've set the status date as the current day. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to reveal a progress line, and the progress line is going to be set on the project status date, which in this case is the same as the current day. So there's the progress, and one can see a backward-leaning progress line means we are behind schedule. However, if we were to mark everything as up-to-date, immediately it changes, except for the meetings. I found that the meetings have to be done individually, so we expand that list, go to the PMO meeting number one, and we can mark that at 100%. There we go. So we're now ahead of schedule all the way. So in summary, it's tracking, it's revealing the progress line, and it is also setting the status date, which is done over here. 